The library is filled with stories from around the world, and in the South Carolina room in the Hughes Main Library in downtown Greenville, there are stories from home. On microfilm, in this local newspaper from April of 1930, there's a ghost story. It says, headless ghosts of bandit perches on Poinsett Bridge on rainy nights. Jana Rains is the South Carolina room supervisor. She says this is one of several reports of spooky sightings at the Poinsett Bridge, which was built in 1820. It is believed to be probably the oldest surviving bridge in South Carolina and possibly even the Southeast. She says the stone bridge in northern Greenville County is known for its gothic arch, and there are reports that its unique details continue to impress the people who built it two centuries later. There's mention that there were two former workers that enjoyed their work so much that they come back and visit the bridge at nighttime. According to this survey from 2004, those visitors are two Irish Masons named Danny and Denny. But Shanna says not all of the people who worked on this bridge survived to see its completion. Um, some of the archaeological survey that we have does mention that some of the workers may have gotten ill during their time working on the bridge. She says it's believed the workers died of malaria. And there's that grainy newspaper article from 91 years ago reporting that the headless ghost of a person who was shot on the bridge and fell into the water returns at midnight on rainy nights and simply sits on the spot where he was killed. So apparently he's very calm ghost. He sits quietly according to this news article. The Poinsett Bridge was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1970. Shanna says it's worth a visit to marvel at the structure that has stood in this spot for so long. But she says you might want to consider planning your visit for the daytime. In Greenville County, Gabrielle Komarowski, WYFF News 4.